Let's go. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yerves. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps with the algorithm. And it gets me to make more videos because I love when you guys watch them, show your support, drop comments, let me know what you think about this stuff. And yeah, let's get right into it. So today we are talking about the Adidas Y3 Gazelle. This guy right here. So if you don't know what Y3 is, Y3 is a collaborative effort between Yoji Yamamoto, the Japanese avant-garde designer, and Adidas. Everyone knows about Adidas. So they came together in 2002, and ever since then they've been dropping beautiful sneakers, just classic stuff, you know, just elevated materials, beautiful aesthetics. And yeah, they've been doing an amazing job. So they drop a quick little like burst of products here and there, come back, do it. There's no real set Y3 pattern as far as releases. But yeah, this is one of the most recent ones. This came out in September. And once I saw it, I was like, man, I feel like I need to get this. I know you guys have heard me say I'm not a big sneaker guy, but we love a good minimal design, classy aesthetic sneaker. And I feel like that's what this thing is. So the Gazelle and the Samba have been around forever. But more recently, in the last like a year or two, they've just blown up in popularity. So I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon, but do it a little differently, a little bit more designer, a little bit more high fashion, a little spice to the design and the aesthetic. So I decided to go with this thing. So I saw it in September, but retail price on this was $300, which is a hard pill to swallow, especially for the GR shoe that comes out all the time. These are the three reasons why I pretty much decided to buy the sneaker reason number one is the materials the materials used on this are just absolutely beautiful they have suede top to bottom leather patch on the back they even have suede on the bottom of the shoe and um it's it's crazy i don't know why you would put suede on the patch on the bottom of a shoe it's gonna get tore up but anyways they did they spared no expense as far as the materials on this shoe beautiful suede and what i love about it the most usually is if you get a suede in black it's usually kind of like a charcoal ash gray color but in this thing i hope it comes comes out on camera but it is super dark deep black and i don't know how they did it with the dye on this suede but it is absolutely amazing leather on the inside leather insole just a beautiful shoe amazing amazing All right, let's get into the second reason why I spent 300 bucks on this shoe. And that is the design. It has a beautiful design. I know at first glance, it might look like your standard gazelle from Adidas, but it's different. It's got kind of this cool wavy design here on the midsole and the outsole. And it just like adds a little spice to it. Besides the elevated materials, the details on this shoe are just like really, really amazing. I love the build quality is just really well done the stitching is on point there's no glue stains and yeah it's just made made really well i definitely think it's leaps and bounds above your standard gr gazelle i mean they are charging 300 bucks for it so i would hope so but yeah you can definitely tell the build quality of the shoe why it's so expensive so that's my second reason All right, guys, and the third reason, because it's a classic silhouette and it goes with everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with a gazelle. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. And I think with this Y3 model specifically, it just adds a little bit of spice and a little bit of flair to your fit. It's a little classier, it's a little bit more elegant, especially in this black. They actually came out with a cream off-white version as well, but I decided to go with the black because you know your boy likes all black especially with this color like you could really like elevate a fit you could almost wear it to like a nice business casual like you know fancy dinner type situation or you could dress it down just throw it on with some denim even some shorts and just dress it down and wear it like your standard gazelle but it just has that little bit of uniqueness that little bit of pop that little bit of like if you know you know type vibes that really make this shoe special yeah and that was my third reason why i had to get this shoe it's just beautiful and it goes with pretty much everything and as far as fit you guys i know it's not one of the reasons why i bought it but i just want to give you a heads up the fit so i bought this shoe in a size 11 my true to size is 11 and a half so i would suggest maybe going down half a size if you have really wide feet i would stay maybe true to size but I would maybe go half a size down just to start and then kind of see where you land. So yeah, as far as sizing, 
half size down on this guy but once you get it right it fits really nice super comfortable all right you guys and we have come down to the pricing so yeah 300 bucks is retail on this shoe which is kind of a hard pill to swallow but with the materials the design the build quality the collaboration with y3 i honestly think it's worth it but the best thing about it now is you don't have to spend 300 dollars these have been going on sale a lot lately so for whatever reason who cares it's still an amazing shoe but i got this shoe on bloomingdale's for like 210 or 220 i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm gonna link it down below in the description so you guys get this deal if it's still around but even through other retailers they've been going on sale a lot so 300 was retail but you could get it well under retail like at least around 100 bucks off which is amazing um you know we always talk about on the channel like you don't have to spend retail prices on these designer clothes and shoes because there's always sales there's always clearances there's a secondhand market so you don't have to spend an arm and a leg trying to spend retail on shoes that just come out just wait a little bit sometimes so yeah for 200 bucks or 210 dollars this shoe is well worth it so i would definitely jump on that deal while you can while there's sizes available and again i will link it down below all right you guys welcome to the end of the video thank you so much for joining me that was the y3 gazelle the collaborative sneaker from yoji yamamoto and adidas and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel we have more content like this coming soon a lot of vlog stuff pickups hauls reviews all men's fashion based type of stuff it's going to be amazing thank you so much for watching drop a like below it really helps us out on the channel helps get this video around helps people see it and helps us grow so makes me want to make more videos and last but not least drop a comment below i want to see what you guys think about the shoe if you like it if you hate it if you chuck it in the trash if you prefer the off-white or the cream version but uh yeah let me know what you think and again thank you so much for sticking around my name is yervs instagram tiktok all that stuff will be in the description and stick around for the next one we have a good one coming soon i'll see you later